And welcome back everyone to Nuts and Developments and today we're making perhaps the most important thing that you might need in your game is emotes. Today we're making this simple backflip animation. This is literally the gold mine. This is where you make those robux, you sell it to people that play your game and it literally just, well, it looks amazing and it's super easy to do. It took me like two minutes. I'll give you all of the code that you might need and it works for any avatar whether you have a block rig like this or a character like this. It will work perfectly. And then, when you if you subscribe, giving away 5,000 Robux to 5 lucky people, so 1,000 Robux each. If you want to be a part of that giveaway, go ahead and subscribe. Let's get into the video. And we're going to start off by just going to Avatar, Rig Builder, R15, Block Avatar. Go ahead and put them on the ground. Zoom to where you see fit. Then click Animation Editor. Select the rig. I'm going to call this backflip. Right. Now I'm going to click this little plus sign and then add all body, which will just literally add every single little piece of our character so we can animate them separately if we wanted to. It's just more comfortable that way. So I think I'm going to start off by literally the character just throws his hands up and then flips over. So I'm going to go ahead, skip, I don't know, like three frames. Or three little sections and then select all of the arms and you want to make sure you get those little hands on the bottom there and then I'm gonna just rotate make sure your studs for 90 you could turn them off if you wanted to but I'm just going to leave them on for now so here from the side take the red and then rotate it 90 degrees and then move them up to like right here so basically we just have a character going hands up you can tilt the head a little bit for more effect so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so head rotate I'm gonna turn off the studs because I don't want it to turn too much so maybe like just looking up so kinda like the character is looking where he's jumping then I'm going to move another three frames and then actually select the whole rig by just clicking this. Oh, well, that didn't work. So here, scroll the way bottom, click shift, select the whole rig. I'm going to lock it for this one. So 90 degrees, I'm going to go here. And you actually might want to move this a little bit further just because the character is rotating. So as you can see, it's following that like rotation pattern right here. I'm not actually going to change anything. This looks perfect. So move another. Let's do four sections. And then just return them to the ground. So we're here right at our peak. I'm going to go ahead and move three sections and then just keep rotating him through. So here and move another three sections here right and I'm gonna put the hands down so you can actually do this last frame instead of switching this you can just copy this very first square because obviously this is our set position so we can just go ahead control C that and then paste that instead of this so delete this and I just paste it in and we'll play this as you can see our character does a perfect backflip now you're going to quickly click the three dots um, set animation priority make sure it's set to action so now we're going to go ahead click the three dots publish to Roblox and you don't really have to change anything here I'm just gonna leave this as is and then click save now very carefully this is your ID number you can just click it and copy it or go to this link just make sure you don't lose this because you're gonna have to just republish it so our animation is complete and actually I kinda want it to be I feel like this is too fast so you can actually make it longer by selecting all of this and then just dragging it out so I'm gonna make it one second long so 
I know it's slow, but I like it. So here, uh, publish to Roblox, save, copy this ID. By the way, guys, you can't use my ID because it's for my account. So you will have to remake this animation yourself. So now you can close this and close this. And now we're going to do just a little bit of code, which is super easy. You're going to go ahead and open your starter player. And then in your starter character script, you're going to add a local script. And then I'm just going to rename this local script to um something like, I don't know, backflip. Amazing. So, and now in this, we're going to add a animation. And then right here in the animation where it says animation ID, paste that ID we copied earlier. So now that that's done, we can actually rename also the animation into the back flip anim. Just so you don't get confused. Now you can actually go ahead and in the description of this video, you can go ahead and click a link which will take you to this piece of code right here, which you could just go ahead and copy and now go back into your game, delete everything right here and just paste that in. You should get this code right here and I'm going to basically just quickly go over what it does. It use it looks through the humanoid. It looks for the backflip anim, which is this. So whatever you named your animation right here under your backflip code actually change this to emote because it's very general and you can actually put a bunch of animations under here for different uh, keys on your keyboard that you press which will allow you to obviously have like three four five twenty animations for use when you play basically right here it looks for the animation uh, backflip animation which is this one spelled exactly the same and then it utilizes the user input service. So it's looking for you to press a key and then function key when you press key code E. So you can change this to anything. You can be G or I don't know, B, whatever. I like E because animation or emo makes sense to me. And then it just loads the animation and then animation plays whenever you press the E key. So this is a done tutorial. We can go ahead and quickly test this out. Go back into your game, click play my character spawns in I can go ahead and just click E and he does a backflip you can go ahead and run and do a backflip you can do it from here and it will work for most characters so even though I made it on a R15 rig it works on my character which I think maybe an R5 not sure but the point is that's it your animation is complete super easy tutorial and even if you go first person, you actually won't be able to see it, but people around you will. So, if you like this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.